Hi, in this video I will introduce you to the four fundamental forces. All of the forces you've previously learned about, such as weight or friction, can actually be categorised as one of the four fundamental forces. They are electromagnetic, gravitational, strong nuclear and weak nuclear. We see examples of electromagnetic and gravitational forces in everyday life. Apart from the more obvious interactions between magnetised or electrically charged objects, the electromagnetic force is responsible for most other everyday forces. When you sit on a chair, the reason your atoms don't fall through the atoms of the chair is because of the electrostatic repulsion between the electrons of each. The electromagnetic force has an infinite range that decreases according to the inverse square law. It can be both attractive or repulsive and it acts on all charged particles. The gravitational force is obviously responsible for the weight we experience on Earth but is also responsible for the attraction between planets, moons and stars. It also has an infinite range that varies according to the inverse square law. It is always attractive and it acts between all particles with mass. The gravitational force is extremely weak. It's approximately 10 to the power of minus 36 times weaker than the electromagnetic force. It only seems significant to us because we live our lives on a massive planet. The strong nuclear force, sometimes known as the strong interaction, is, unsurprisingly, very strong. It is very short-ranged and behaves rather differently from other forces you may be used to. It is attractive up to a distance of about 3 femtometers, that's 3 times 10 to the minus 15, which is approximately the diameter of a medium-sized nucleus. This means that it can pull together protons and neutrons to form a nucleus overcoming the electrostatic repulsion that would otherwise force the protons apart. Below distances of 0.5 femtometers, the strong force is repulsive. This stops those nucleons from being crushed together. The strong force acts between all quarks and gluons, which means it can bind together both protons and neutrons. It does not affect leptons, such as electrons. The weak nuclear force, or weak interaction, acts on all quarks and leptons and is responsible for the decay of subatomic particles. As its name suggests, it is quite weak, but not as weak as the gravitational force. Among other things, it is responsible for beta decay and perhaps is harder to characterise as a force than the other three. Let us briefly consider the relative strength of each of these forces. The strong nuclear force is the strongest, so if we say that that has a relative strength of 1, the electromagnetic is not much weaker. It's about 1 137th of the strength. The weak force is the next strongest with a, a relative strength about one million times less than the strong force. The gravitational force, as I mentioned earlier, is much, much weaker than the other forces. Around 10 to the minus 38 times weaker than the strong nuclear force. So those are the four fundamental forces. Gravity, electromagnetism, strong nuclear, and the weak force. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.